video going to show you how I transplant the Moringa seedlings. So this would be my third attempt to grow Moringa plant. So finally on my third attempt it looks successful. So I want to show you guys how I transplant the Moringa seeds that I germinate inside the house and then I also want to show you how I transplant the Moringa seedlings that I saw in the ground. So before that ado, let's get started and show you how I transplant the Moringa and some tips. And also I transplant two Moringa in the ground. So I saw Moringa in the ground and then because I put it in the vegetable raised bed garden so I did transplant it in the ground near the fence so I'm going to experiment because the place where we live we have winter and sometimes we get snow and that's why I'm going to experiment the tomoringa so when the winter coming I'm going to cover it or put a bunch of leaves or whatever I want to do like I want to experiment if this moringa will survive in the winter so hopefully cross fingers oh by the way I did not told you what happened on my first attempt and second attempt of planting moringa so the first attempt I did germinate the seeds inside the house and then I did transplant it in the small pot and it did not survive it died all of them and then guys on the second attempt planting moringa i did sow some moringa seeds in the ground and i did germinate some of the moringa inside the house the moringa seeds that i germinate inside the house there's a one survive and then i give it to my friend and my friend she's really taking care of it so the moringa it's surviving and then the seeds that i saw in the ground i did not give them enough space and then after i transplant i did not put the moringa in the shaded area so i put it in the center in the middle of my garden and then i cover it with the plastic but even though it did not survive because it's really hot so that's it guys i just wanna tell you what happened on my first and second attempt and i learned from it so on my third attempt it's successful so guys this is how you transplant the moringa from seeds and this is the moringa looks like after you germinate and you are going to put mix or you can mix your own soil and then you just put it right here and then So grab some seedlings right here. I did not fill the pot with so well because the moringa will grow and then when they grow I'm going to add more so well and then when they're doing really good we can transplant it with bigger pots and now we are going to 
water them. Okay, and then we are going to put it in the shaded area. So guys, we are going to transplant this moringa right here. So we are going to take one to two inches away from the seedlings so we don't stress the roots. So let's get started. Here, like very far away. Uh. Are you good, guys? Here you go guys, we did not stress the roots and then we are going to put it right here. Keep it like that. Yeah. Oops. Right here. And right here. And then what I did, I'm going to put this one right here. I already transplanted a few of the Moringa seedlings, but there's a few that I haven't. My Moringa plant. One day after transplant. So these seeds, I saw it in the ground and then yesterday I transplant in the pot. And then covered it so it's not direct sunlight until the plant's strong. This is fourth day that I transplant and I water them once a day, every afternoon, like 6 p.m. This is our Moringa looks like five days after transplant. So these seeds, I saw it in the ground. And this is seven days after transplant. The seeds I germinate inside the house. So the seeds that I sow outside is more healthier than the seeds that I germinate inside the house. And this is our moringa looks like six days after transplant. Look at that. This is our moringa looks like seven days after transplant. So as you can see. That's it for today's video thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be updated if i upload a new video bye see you on my next one